Hi. Hello. So before I've made videos, or I made one video, where I covered mental illness in anime to some degree. But today I'm going to be talking to you about an anime that explicitly discusses mental illness and I just want to share it because no one's talking, almost no one is talking about it. And that is Antidote. So Antidote is a shonen eye anime, so it's LGBT. And I walked in thinking it was going to be a cute slice of life anime because I didn't read the tags. And I went in thinking <laughs> it would not hurt me this much, but it did. It hit in a way that I didn't expect it. Too. From this point on, there's probably gonna be like a lot of spoilers. So if you want to go in almost blind or pretty spoiler free, go now. But before you go, trigger warning for the anime to like think banana fish, but a little less, I think a little less dark than banana fish. So, antidote, right? We have a main character who has been through trauma, and you see him at the beginning, and you don't know these things. And then as the story progresses, you notice that he has something going on because he come, becomes more and more paranoid of everything going on around him. And the main character even brings up to someone else, hey, I think something's wrong with him. And there's, there's ableism, there's a bit of ableism, more than a bit of ableism. Because everyone around him is saying, no, he's not crazy. The main character though, the love interest main character is the one who's saying, I didn't mean he's crazy, I just meant he had a mental illness. So there is that separation between some characters are saying, hey, he's not crazy, and saying mental illness is crazy. And then there's other characters who are like, mental illness is not craziness, it's just something that needs to be treated and needs to be helped. The main character is called Third Brother. Uh, he is dealing with a lot of issues because of mental illness, and that causes tension between the main characters. So that is an issue that's dealt with throughout the story. You see the support system that he has. You see them... You see this unconditional caring. I really enjoyed that. Like, I genuinely thought that that was such a good thing to see in a show. And there was this one scene where a third brother was seeing things that weren't actually there, and was like, oh my god, I'm crazy. The other guy was like, no, you're not. It doesn't like matter. You're still the person we care about. And like, it was just such, it was a scene that I just had to stop and be like, oh my god, this is just such an important scene for this. And like, I, I can't get over like, how well this was done. And um, in the end he does get help. I really appreciated how you see him go and get help, and you see him recover from this. But you see him continue this growth, and you see him also deal with the possibility of still seeing things and still having this problem. Like you don't, it, it's not a, oh, I go get help, it fully goes away. It's a very realistic depiction of it all, and I really appreciated that. And I think that's all I have to say. Oh, also there is gangs in it. But it's not so much. There is a couple of scenes with gangs, but where it's not that bad. It's not like super tied to gang stuff. Bye, guys.